In this video, you will learn to open surveys up for responses, collect responses, and analyze the data from the surveys. Let's begin by opening a survey. Go up to My Stat Crunch, choose Surveys. Locate a previously created survey and click on the title. Right now the status says Close to Responses. I'm going to click the link to change the status. I'm going to choose Open for Responses and scroll down and click Submit. Now that the survey is open to responses, you will notice additional items within the owner's box, including ways for sharing the survey. Recall, an individual can submit a response to a StatCrunch survey without having a StatCrunch subscription. The email link option provides a website URL that any individual can use in order to take the survey. The HTML link option provides code that can be placed into an HTML document as a way of linking directly to the survey. The Embed in Web Page option provides HTML referencing JavaScript code at StatCrunch.com that allows for including the survey on any web page that allows for external JavaScript. Additionally, there are options to post the survey to either Twitter or Facebook directly. The number of survey responses is displayed in red, so currently we have zero responses. Click on Update Count Every 20 Seconds for 3 Minutes to automatically refresh the number of survey responses. This is most useful in situations such as conducting the survey in a live class where responses are expected within a short time frame. But again, we're still not going to have any responses. Once the data collection is complete, it is recommended that the status of the survey be changed back to close as described in the procedure above. Now that some responses have been collected, I'm going to click the Analyze link to pull all the data into StatCrunch for analysis. Here are the results pulled into StatCrunch data table from the six responses that have been entered. These responses can now be analyzed using StatCrunch or saved for future use as a StatCrunch data set. Any editing of the responses completed within this data table will not impact the actual survey responses as stored within StatCrunch's system.